Welcome to Design Fast Forward. This week I did a simple illustration of a harnessed tiger moth for an ongoing series of moth illustrations that I've been posting to Dribble lately. For the tiger moth, I started out by drawing the wing and body shapes and giving them placeholder colors, just to establish the basic structure from the reference photo. And when I had the basic shape down, I started choosing more realistic colors, fine-tuning some vibrant shades of orange for the second and third layer of wings and the body. Once I had that done, I started working on the surface design for the top layer of wings. I knew I wanted the wing itself to be black with high contrast markings, so I went with white strokes of varying widths. I tried mimicking the markings of the reference photo while also editing the lines to create something that was both visually balanced and interesting to look at. The lines are very structured, but still suggest a kind of gestural nature. For the second layer of wings, I wanted to mimic that lighter orange fringe before moving on to the dark spots. And when I drew the dark spots, I made sure not to leave any sharp corners so we could accurately render the kind of organic aesthetic of the original moth. Similarly, for the third layer of wings, I made a small edge and then just added a simple black dot to each. For the main body shape, I started out with a simple line of circles, but that turned out to be pretty boring. It didn't seem to match the overall aesthetic, so I extended it into this kind of tapered stack of teardrop shapes. Then I made basically a flat shadow for the moth's back before working on the markings up there. I messed with this shape for a long time before finally getting to something pleasing and moving on to the rest of the markings. Then for the antennas, I made a simple tapered stroke and then started working on a shape that would represent the filaments of the antenna without adding unnecessary complexity to the shape. And I ended up with these kind of translucent black shapes. And then I just cleaned things up with a clipping mask and switched over to true drop shadows rather than the flat style of shadows that I had before. And that's it. Here's a look at the finished illustration. I don't do it, 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 I don't do